believe high school was over 15 years ago. Oh, so many memories. <sighs> oh, hello there, foodie friends. Welcome to I've Got Munchies. I'm looking through my high school yearbook and having a little flashback fun. Hola, Mary Jane. ¿Cómo se va? Hi, Mexican light bulb. I ran into little Debbie while I was grocery shopping. Me and little Debbie spent a lot of time together in high school and in college. Una amiga muy delicioso. Yeah, a lot of late night giggling with the munchies with little Debbie for sure. Good time. Sounds like it. Mm-hmm. Little Debbie is coming over later to reenact those times and join me in Munchy Madness. <laughs> it's been too long. Okay. You have the munchies todo lo noches. Yes, but not with Little Debbie. Oh, I know just the thing for tonight. A Little Debbie favorite. Okay. okay. Today, I'm going to make oatmeal cream pies with jam and toasted pecans, cause I've got munchies since high school. Ay, idiota. No kidding. Since high school? Oof. Mommy, I wanna ask you something. What is it, dear? I know that the baby grows inside you. That's where Johnny was, but he seems so big. What I wonder is, how does he get out of there? Your belly button? It's too small. Mary, the baby doesn't come out of your navel. Let me tell you how it is. There's a special opening just in front of the place where you have your BM. It's very, very tiny in a little girl, but as you grow, it grows too, right along with the rest of you. Until when you're grown up, it gets to be just about this size. Now, when the baby's ready to be born, it stretches up to be about this size, just big enough for the baby to slip through head first. Then after the baby's born, it goes back to its regular size. It's back to its regular size. It's back to its regular, it's back to its regular size. Whoa, dude, you got a black guy. You're right, it was a black guy. Last night at Stroker's strip club, I fought him outside the doors. You know strokers. Oh yeah, we met there. It's magic happens there. He kicked me out because I was peeing on the stage. No dicks, just vaginas. Quote my famous friend John McClane, you gotta live free or to hard. Yes. You know in Russia people are dying every day. There's hawks, there's bears, there's Putin. This is all bad for us. Ready to rock! Rumble, no. Royal so. Rumble. Alright, number one. Fighting the Lost Ark and getting my face melted off. Now, I'm obsessed with Indiana Jones. It's for real. I have a whip. I have the hat. It's gonna happen. But this has been a weekly nightmare of mine ever since I was 10. This movie is like the Bridget Jones Diary, right? Same movie. No, nothing like that granny panty ho. Number two, getting lost in a rich person's garden maze. I don't want to be a human Pac-Man, but it happened to me last week at Dick McCutcheon's house when I tried to break in and kick his ass, and I did not realize he had a huge maze. And I got lost and he had to come save me. It was bad. When I found you, your pants were very soiled and it was nasty. To be fair, it was a tequila, sriracha, and five-hour energy drink. Cut a nut. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, punching Hillary Clinton with my Bud Light holding fist. <clears throat> she needs it because she's a liberal, pantsuit wearing, gun taking, homosexual loving, abortion loving woman who thinks she can run this world and she can't run this world because she is not smart. Hashtag Russia don't like you. Have you ever talked to a menopausal woman? I don't want to talk to them. Number four, reverse bang bust heaven. Now, for those of you who don't know who bang bust is, it's where a chick 
goes on a bus and gets banged by a bunch of dudes. It'd be reversed. So I'm the bangy and there are but chicks banging me and I'm gonna have my dreams come true. <laughs> so first, you're going to come and then you're going to go, my friend. Hey! Yeah! Oh. Hey, you look like you could use a ride to Walmart. I sure do. There's a bunch of chicks back here that want to bang you. Five. Getting eat by the Indominus Rex from Jurassic World. It is a cross between the T-Rex and a managed dragons. And it's gonna fucking suck to get eaten by him, right? <laughs> you know what? Moral of the story is if you don't die in a cool way, no one will carry your old bit. That's a short for obituaries. Don't shit yourself to death on the toilet like my Uncle Frank did. Oh. There we that go. That was nice. That's good, that. Jose. Da. Jose's our cameraman. Say hi, Jose. Hello. Well, how often do you see little Debbie? Oh, sometimes on Facebook and social media. But usually late night at the bodega. Or a grocery store once a week. Little Debbie is dangerous for me. You know Munchy Madness is going down? When little Debbie is a Roquita, Munchy Madness. Let's get started. Today's ingredients for oatmeal cream pies with jam and toasted pecans are oatmeal cream pies, jam, any flavor of your choice, ground cinnamon, cooking spray, and chopped pecans. Let's go nuts. First, toss your chopped pecans and cinnamon toast in a saucepan sprayed with cooking spray on medium-low for three minutes or until slightly darker brown. Next, take your oatmeal cream pies and carefully cut them in half. Then, slather jam over one half of the open cream pie. Next, top with the toasted pecans. Lastly, add the top half of the oatmeal cream pie. Ay, que rico! Voila! Little Debbie will be so impressed. While I get ready for the evening, watch the- I've got a big dick You can tell by the way I sit I know you see it when I walk past you I've got a big dick Its shadow frightens the kids Like a scary sock puppet Ooh, That's inappropriate oh, Yeah, that is inappropriate I've got a big dick You can tell by the pics I've sent You see the secrets in the angle Gotta aim it from the base to the tip Then they won't know how small it is I mean how incredibly big it is So big, so big, so big So fucking big I've got a Big dick I sexed it to five or six chicks Once I even sexed it to my mom God. Oh yeah, we have never mentioned it But did she text back? But sometimes they want video I don't do video Cause you can't fake that So I gotta keep a backlog of Big dick pics Big dick pics Yeah. Uh -huh.
Let me tell you about a beer rooted in the heart of Brooklyn, founded in a community where street art is the only art, brewed for those with band practice spaces, hipsters with factory lofts, wearers of ripped, odd, or off-brand fashions, and artisanal shop owners. Willing to sip, share, risk, remember that they don't care what you think. Made from locally sourced water runoff and played the music of bands you've never heard of during the brewing process. Ugh, this is bigger than beer. Bushwick Brews. Taste the entitlement. <sighs> this is great. I'm totally ready for Little Debbie and Munchie Madness. Of course you are, Lokita. Of course. Who's that? Hi, Mexican light bulb. This is Little Debbie. Hola, Mexican light bulb. Oh man. Those oatmeal cream pies look deluxe. Oh, thanks, little Debbie. Do you want one? Well, absolutely. But first, let me say hi to my old friend, Lindsay Blueman. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't have it any other way. I just meal. Little Debbie's a real person. What? You thought I was talking about the company? See? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, it's just like old times. <laughs> 